What do you do in a city of sky-high rents when you are simply scraping by? The obvious answer wouldn't be to pay one of the highest per square metre rates in the market. Yet in Hong Kong, that's exactly what's happening. Around 100,000 or 1.4 per cent of Hong Kong's population squeeze themselves into so-called bed homes, which ironically cost more per square metre than some luxury housing. However, with some of the diminutive digs occupying a space of just over three square metres, they're still the cheapest option on the market. But prices have risen tenfold over the past couple of decades, with one of the mini homes now coming in at around 170 US dollars per month. More than 1.1 million or 17% of Hong Kong's population live below the designated poverty line of 450 US dollars per month. Many of the bed homes are illegally modified former factories and industrial buildings, often windowless and unventilated. Under normal circumstances, this is not fit for humans to live. I mean, usually, this is not a suitable place for normal people to live. But some people, like myself, live here only because the rent is cheap. Yu should consider himself lucky, though, as some live in the same space but share with a partner. Hong Kong's residential property prices jumped 20% in the first nine months of this year, even as the economy contracted 0.1% in the second quarter. 